guys. All right, guys, so just getting outside of the bay. Uh, it's 10 after 7. The sun's on its way down. The sun's setting well before 8 now. Um, breaking the cardinal rule of kayak fishing. I got two poles. I'm here to do a porgy catch and cook, but I'm going to throw this tube off the back that I've never used before and put a sandworm on that too. But here last time, you know, there was... I got attacked by stripers instead of pork. He's trying to do a porgy catch and cook. Alright guys, so it's getting pretty dicey. I tied up both my knots and drifted almost 60 yards. I got tied the knots real quick. I'm gonna just throw this down. Sandworm, banana jig head. Especially right now, I'm not even gonna mess with the second line. It's just, it's a little hectic out here. I'm moving fast. And it's not ideal to fish for porgies with a drift like this. Yeah, I'm moving. I might have to go into the bed. It's pretty, it's pretty hectic. I'm moving fast. I would never keep a fish this small normally. Until I get him on the stringer, all I got a fish on. Feels good. Doubling up! bigger hook. So to get that hook in his mouth, it's got to be a bigger fish. It's just, I'm just drifting. Lead these guys out. If you're an animal lover, vegan, you might not want to watch this part. Go into... I normally use a knife, but this is the savage way to do it to the gill and rip it out, rip the whole gill out. That's the best way to secure some good meat. These fish need to be bled out. They're not the most, they got nice flavor, but uh, you know, if you don't bleed them out, don't get them on ice. They don't taste that good. Watch this fucking guy. Get one more and then I'll head back in. Should I do it? Let's compare the robin to the porgy. Let's fucking do it. I fucking like snagged him or something. What the fuck happened here? Oh fuck, this thing's loaded with spines. It is right under my ass. Son of a bitch. Oh fuck. Got him. I'm nervous for a second.
fresh meat in 30 minutes he'll be in my oven. And then I'm loaded with fucking blood. Tell this not Sea Robin and Porgy from the bay. You'd think I was struggling out here. It's hard out here in these streets. It's hot out here. And I got more worms. I could keep catching fish, man. I just want to cook these things up, complete this video, and go to bed because I was up to 2 in the morning last night. So see you guys back in the kitchen. So I'm back home. I'm going to fillet these things up. It was rough out there. Shouldn't have went out that far. I only caught three fish, but I had fun doing it. Um, going to marinate these things, do my little workout circuit, throw them in the oven, shower, neat. See you guys soon. So I'm going to flay up the porgies first. Set the blade on my fillet knife. Right behind the head. I'm not good at filleting really any fish. I'm not gonna say that I'm good at it, but I enjoy doing it. It's weird, but I like doing it. So with porgy fillets, um, just pin bones right down the middle. You're just gonna slice that one piece out. And that's it, that's the bones in the fish. People say it's a bony fish, it's really not. Take the skin off too, but that's it, right there. That's all your bones. The rest is just boneless meat. Boneless, skinless filet. Fatty side down, skin off, on a rack. That's how you do it. Don't forget it. Definitely botched it up a little bit. I'm not great at filleting, like I said, but that's that's what you want to do. You want to be able to see through the bones. You know, maximize, get as much, much meat as possible. These things are too small to take the cheek meat, but if I was cooking it whole, I'd eat the cheek meat. That's what you want a porgy fillet to look like off the skin. So you bleed them out. I mean, the bigger they get, the, the more blood line they have, but you know that's about to be boneless. It's already skinless. Just gonna take the pin bones out, right down the middle. Just nice both sides. Can't eat that part anyway. You don't want to eat the red stuff, but that's your porgy fillet. Looks like tilapia. Uh, boneless, skinless. I'm gonna marinate them. Put them in the uh, fridge. Onto the sea robin. Right. My buddy the sea robin. Didn't do too good last time on this, but I watched some videos and I think I know how to do it now. Right behind this plate of armor right here. Just like so. Straight down to the spine. And then straight back along the spine. Yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Not a ton of meat, but it came right off. And now, what I'm going to do to get the skin off, keep it attached to the bottom. Keep it attached. Old timers taught me this with striper. Keep it attached. With the knife, let it slide right under. Right off the skin. That's pretty easy, man. I had trouble last time. There we are. Skinless. Oh, got a little fin there. Skinless.
skinless uh, sea robin fly. Got some pin bones I gotta take out. All right, so sea robin. Um, I do not know how to take the pin bones out. So if anybody knows how to do that, please leave a comment because I had no idea what I'm doing. I butchered the flies, it's got most of the meat. So that's the sea robin against the porgy. Both marinated the same stuff. Gonna throw on some fresh onions, fresh garlic, and then squeeze some lemons on. And I'll let you know how it tastes. See you soon. Most importantly, it's going on a rack. Cooking it on a rack. Very important. We go with our finished product. Got the sea robin, porgy. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Let's go with uh, porgy first. It's good. Put a little lemon on before. Just about 20 minutes through, put more lemon on. Overcooked it a little bit. Cooked it to 153 degrees. It kind of fell apart getting off the rack. Let's try the robin. Robin is much better. I think I just ate a bone. I missed one of those pin bones, probably. But 100%. The robin tastes better than porgy. Last time I did it, it tasted much better. But this time, I mean, it's still better than than the porgy. Laid it at my house because I want to tell people I was doing a catch and cook. Just was trying to avoid that um, conversation. I also didn't want to tell anybody that it tastes good. I don't want to be known as that guy in town who eats sea robin. This is only the second time I've done it, by the way. But I mean, you don't get a lot of meat, but if, there's so many of them. You can catch, there's not even a limit on them. I'm not saying I'm going to start doing it. But what an underappreciated, neglected fish. Better than porgy. That's the decision right there. Good night.